during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about the different life cycles that plants can have. Everything from perennial or biennial to an annual, like a winter annual or a summer annual. What do all those things mean? Well, it's important to understand a plant's life cycle if you want to get it under control on your farm or in your yard or in your garden. For example, let's look at your lawn. What kind of grasses do you have growing in your lawn? Well, you've got perennial grasses. What that means is it has a multiple year life cycle. So until we kill those grasses, they're probably just going to keep living as long as they have food and water and everything else that they need. So when we look at your lawn, you don't want to have to seed it every year, right? So you want a perennial grass growing there. But what kind of grasses get to be problems oftentimes in lawns? Well, something like crabgrass, for example, which is a summer annual weed. It's an annual weed, meaning it has a one year life cycle. So it grows from a seed and it produces seed and then it dies off once we get to the winter. Now crabgrass can be a real problem because it is a summer annual, meaning it comes up in the summer. So a lot of times our perennial grasses have kind of struggled with some moisture already and some heat and everything else and they may have gone dormant. Then all of a sudden it gives an opportunity for something like a crabgrass to come in. All right, Darren mentioned summer annual. There's also a winter annual that will germinate in the fall. It will start growing in the fall. It will survive the winter and then it's pretty big come springtime. So what happens in a lot of fields, it's a real problem when you have a winter annual and you don't want to do a whole bunch of tillage. You've got a great big weed out there when you go out and you seed your crop in. Well, how are you going to get that under control? Well, it's nice to say, okay, let's spray a herbicide, but what if the weed is already one or two feet tall? Well, a lot of herbicides aren't going to work on a weed that's that big. So you've got cold weather conditions early in the spring. You've got a great big weed that's really tall, and a lot of herbicides aren't effective on it. It's no wonder we have weeds like mare's tail and many other winter annuals that are very problematic around the country. Another life cycle that I find very interesting is the biennial plant. That is a plant that has a two-year life cycle. And you say, well, that's kind of weird. Why would it just have a two-year life cycle? Well, each of the two years is very different in how this plant grows. For example, let's look at a bull thistle or a musk thistle that you might see out in your pasture. Well, the first year, they grow in what's called a rosette. So they stay low to the ground, often going undetected out in pastures. You're looking across grass that may be knee high and you don't see something growing close to the ground. But the second year, that's when all the action happens. So that first year in the rosette, it's storing up energy, getting ready to produce seed in year two. So in year two, it reaches the bolt stage where all of a sudden it shoots a plant up, maybe four feet tall, puts a seed head on and tries to go to seed really quick. So if you're trying to deal with a weed like that, uh, the best time to do it, of course, would be in year one, if you can find it, if you can see it. Uh, but once you get to year two, you have to act quickly too. Well, once again, all plants can have different life cycles, anywhere from perennial to biennial, winter annual, summer annual. It's important to understand the life cycle of your crop, of your weeds, when you start taking a look at how you're going to manage those things in, on your farm, in your lawn, or in your garden. Well, what type of life cycle does our Weed of the Week have? We'll show you and we'll show you how to stop it coming up later in the show. <music>